We're ready to call personnel meeting to order. Okay. The first item on agenda is administration. Consider approval of the recommendations for administration. Thank you, Madam Chair, Superintendent Stilley, and members of the committee and other board members present. Uh, we have three items for your consideration today. Item A is administration. Before we go through the names, just like to remind uh, all committee members and board members that all provisions of Order 866 for the administrative positions being recommended were followed as fo uh, the following. Properly advertised as outlined in the court order. Applicants were screened as outlined in the court order. Qualified applicants were reviewed and evaluated by a committee mm -hmm. as outlined in the court order. And individuals have been properly notified of the recommendation made by the superintendent. First recommendation under item A is for Principal of Ranger High School, Mr. Gary Perkins. Uh, we do have, uh, we received some information that the start date could possibly be tomorrow uh, instead of TBD. Uh, the TBD for the assistant principals, we, uh, they have a 15 day window of contract that they work that out with their uh, principals at those sites. So the first recommendation is for Mr. Gary Perkins, Principal of Ranger High. There were eight total applicants, three black, five white. Uh, all applicants were eligible. There were three cancellations, one black, two white canceled. Uh, everyone uh, from those five showed up. There were five applicants interviewed. Those interviewed, uh, there were three white and two blacks interviewed for that day. And the recommendation by the committee and the superintendent is for Mr. Gary Perkins. Yes. Mr. Vitter. Question before we go any further. You said all applicants were eligible. What were the qualifications? For the, I, I don't have the ad in front of me, but for the principal, it's a certification as either an EDL eligibility letter, which means that uh, it, that is now a standalone certificate. So they can apply to have an eligibility letter issued by the LDOE that says once you're hired as an assistant principal or higher, then we ask the LDOE to give them that specialized certification, which is separate. Or they'll already have an EDL, an Educational Leader Level 1, 2, on their certificate uh, already. Or they have the, and I hate to say the word, older type certificate where principal or provisional principal is in their general area certification. But besides certifications, what other qualifications did we ask for? In, in this one, I'd, I'd have to pull the ad itself, but it's normally just a certification. And I think we asked for a minimum of Mr. five Schroeder, years. That was the, the only requirement we had for our administrators is that they be eligible to serve as a principal. And that was the only requirement for this ad. We didn't put like years of service no, or no, serve as a persistent principal or nothing? No, sir. And that's not typically in our? Not in any of our administrative ads. Can I ask um, what experience Mr. Perkins has? Does he have any AP or principal qualifications? He currently serves as the Dean of Students in Jefferson Parish uh, School System. He lives here in Tanchpaho Parish and he serves as a Dean of Students at a very large high school. Uh, Grace King, I believe is the name of it. And um, he oversees the ninth grade students, which is a large portion, probably about the size of LaRon High or close to it. And he's been there how long? He's been serving as dean of students for one year. Are we going to put all these together as one vote? Or are we going to do this independently? One vote? Because, uh, you know, we're, right. we're discussing something that's not even a motion on the floor, so I apologize. If, oh, yeah. If, if you want to continue with the Sure. <clears throat> Yeah, we can do one vote because it's listed uh, all into that one item A. Or would you, would we want to? I, I would rather break these down individually. Okay. Okay. Next. Well, Ms. Janice, I had some things oh, I wanted sorry. to ask too, but um, if you want to do the motion, as Tom said, since we don't have a motion, if you want to discuss it after the motion, <clears throat> or you want me to go ahead and. Um, so we, we would be doing a motion just for this one? 
that's what Tom just asked for. I, I would suggest do a motion for the principal position and do a motion for the three assistant principals. Break it up in two pieces. I just know there's a lot of questions about that particular one. I have not had a chance to speak to Ms. Stilley about it uh, before the meeting, but um, there have been a lot of calls about this issue, about hiring someone that's never been an AP, never been in our system, that it looks like on paper taught school for three years. Well, and, and while we understand that, it's also it's a personnel issue and there's an individual being discussed and so it's got to be really careful about the items to discuss because we may have to give a 24-hour notice if we discuss certain things about performance or um, other aspects that that personnel action <clears throat> I mean if I, if I may it's not the first time that we've done that I, I know that we did something similar to this when for the uh, assignment of the uh, the uh, principal at Hammond High I don't think Ms. Gados had had any experience, but she's doing a great job uh, for the reasons, the qualifications that they hired her for. You know, <clears throat> and I do understand also that there is a personnel shortage. You know, and so finding people who are qualified uh, <clears throat> can't always be determined by the experience in the job that they're being uh, hired for. Well, I think the point of order is somebody needs to make a motion in a second and then we can discuss it okay right right Thank okay you. so i'm gonna move to adopt the recommendation of gary perkins as principal okay i will second that you're yeah. not um, on the committee i'm not on the committee it's mr mingus or mr tola <laughs> I, I will second it okay it's been motion and second now discussion now we can discuss Ms. rose Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to go back to the same thing I said a few weeks ago. I just feel like we have a lot of qualified candidates in our parish that are working for us that we are passing over. And uh, I myself have not, I don't represent LaRonja per se, but I do represent all students in this parish. And I've, I've had a few phone calls myself. Um, this person that's being recommended, I don't know him. I know he lives here, and I think that's great that he wants to come back home here and work. But I do know that there were several people that applied that have a lot more experience than this gentleman. And um, I'm not sure how they decide in the committee, and the committee recommended this person, um, from what I understand, four votes or whatever. Um, Unanimous. It's, it's just odd that what is our criteria that we were hiring someone that's only been an, a teacher for three years over people who have had 12 or 15 or 20 or ex years experience. I, I'm just curious as to how do we come to this conclusion. Uh, dean of Students in Jefferson Parish, I mean, it is a big school, but it, like you said, he was over ninth grade and he's only been there a year, which has proved to be only a half a year. So I'm, I'm just voicing my concern. I just think it's not fair to keep passing over our good hard work and people who are working the ladder to become principals in our system and choosing people who are, don't have as much experience. I'm not so much worried about choosing someone from our system as I am as LaRonja has had three different principals in the last three years. Well, this, we're working on our third. Um, I just don't want this to be a stepping stone for this gentleman to better himself, to get under his belt a, a principalship and then um, LaRonja has to look for another principal again next year. I do represent the LaRonja community, and it, it, it bothers me that we're not, we're not looking at people that had more experience from, I don't know any of the candidates that actually um, applied for this position. I don't know any of them personally, so I don't have a dog in the game. But my, my concern is this person has worked for three years in the school system, and he's never been an assistant principal. He's never been a principal. Granted, uh, Dr. Cambonita had a little bit of being an assistant principal and she proved herself and this gentleman just may as well prove himself but there were other applicants that had way more experience than he did and I mean if his interview was that much better if we're going to um, choose because of an interview well then that needs to be put out there that the interview holds more points than what your qualifications hold that's just my opinion on it yeah. Well, just last thing, and that was a question I wanted to ask was, 
what weight do we put on the interview versus the qualifications? Because this is not a knock against Mr. Uh, Mr. Perkins. I don't know him or any of the other candidates. But just when it's brought to my attention, someone being hired over, because of a great interview over people that have more years in service and more positions, it just begs the question. And that's why I wanted Ms. Stilley to be able to answer that. Uh, I cannot, yes, I'd like to answer that. So um, we do have, a, as, you, as you well know, we have a um, court-approved process that we're following. Um, we followed that process <clears throat> to the T. And the, the job of the interview committee is to review all of the information that they have, which is writing samples, um, you know, the resumes of the individuals, and their interview and select who they feel like is the standout or the best individual for that job. And Mr. Perkins was unanimously, all four committee members, um, three, three of which were very experienced educators, has served as principal and assistant, <clears throat> selected him as a standout. I observed the interviews myself. I concur with the committee. Uh, he was very impressive. He walked into the interview knowing very, spe not only did he know very specific data about La Rancha High School, but he had a very specific plan on how he would um, address the areas of weakness. Uh, while he's young, he has a lot of leadership ability. I checked his references. I called four different individuals and talk with them. All of them gave him very high markings. They said he was a, a very smart young man and he was a fast learner and had always done a very good job in everything that he did in their schools. And so uh, we feel that he's the best individual. And to an answer Mr. Toller's um, question about the interview committee, I can tell you that since I have been superintendent, um, <clears throat> now two years that I've had one recommendation overturned by the federal judge and it was when I went against what the unanimous committee said even though I justified all of the reasons why it was overturned so the weight of the committee is pretty heavy well, and I didn't ask about the weight of the committee. I asked <coughs> about the weight of the actual yeah. interview ability. Like if, yes. you know, if somebody comes in as less qualified, but they're able to interview right. better, what weight do we put on the interview versus their qualifications, yeah. I guess? Yeah, and he was qualified. He met the, he met the criteria of the ad. And I think what you might be saying is ex years of experience in, in administration. And so uh, the interview committee and how they perform and what they say in the interview uh, is, is very important and weighs heavily. And, and that is why I will, I will vote for Mr. Perkins because the process, and Mr. Duncan, if he was here, he would explain this to us again. Our job is not to hire and fire. That is the, the role of the superintendent. Our job is to approve that the process was done. <clears throat> The reason that I wanted us to debate this and the yeah. reason I made the motion is so that the public could hear the, the yeah. reasons behind this so that they don't spread false information yeah. that we're just trying to mess up their day. Right. Right. Okay. All right. Um, any other? Okay. It's been motion, second, and discussed. Are we ready to vote? Ready to vote. Voting is open. Um, Sid. <clears throat> Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Next, we will go to the assistant principals. And uh, Mr. Vitter, on that, I received several calls um, for Hammond High Magnet School because we had um someone in there it's same situation so i don't know how we want to to do that one also we'll start with a motion i move to adopt it 
Okay. Administration's recommendations for the three positions. Okay. I'll second it. Okay. Okay. Discussion? <coughs> Go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah. As I was saying for Hammond High Magnet School, and I'm glad, Tom, that you explained how, um, the com how it works with the committee and that we're just approving the recommendations from the committee um, because, again, this was a situation where um, he was in the position and supposedly was, you know, encouraged to apply and everything, and then um, someone outside of the parish was chosen. So that was the situation in that. Can I say something real quick about that one? Yes, please. Um, so, um, Mr. Brown, mm -hmm. sorry, the applicant from Hammond High, is ser he's a lead teacher. He's a teacher position uh, serving as a disciplinarian. I mean, he was helping with discipline at the school. So he, he was not officially an administrator at the school um, as the recommendation has served as two years as an assistant principal in the central school district. Uh, would you mind telling us about the other candidates? I know Christy Gill has been punched yeah. high for 27, 28 yeah. years. I know she's very qualified. I know her. Mm -hmm. but uh, Yeah, so Christy Gill, um, of course, punched to high school is a recommendation. Not only has she been there 24 years, but she had unanimous support from the committee. So that, that's good. Um, she's, of course, served as a lead teacher with special education at punch Tula High School. And um, we feel she'll be a great addition to their leadership team. Then we have uh, for Hammond uh, of Sumner High School, uh, Mr. Larry Morgan, who uh, is currently serving uh, at Greenville uh, Park uh, Leadership Academy in Hammond. And um, Mr. Morgan, you know, comes, he's a 28 year veteran of the system. Um, and he also is, uh, you know, lives in the Sumner area and in the military and so forth. And uh, is the recommendation for Sumner High School. And then for Hammond High School, Mr. Arnold Thomas, who is the uh, individual that serve, is currently serving as an assistant principal now for two years uh, in the Sumner, Sumner district. And, um, there. So those would be sort of the highlights of those individuals. Okay. Ms. Chen, I just want to, on Mr. Morgan, I'm ecstatic to get him at Sumner. Um, I know Greenville Park's going to miss him. He is a great disciplinarian. He has a great working relationship with parents. I've seen him with the, with the cadet program and the parents love him. The students love him. Um, the only thing I can say bad about him is he's prior Air Force, but besides that, he is a great guy, and we look forward to having him at Sumner. So. Great. Okay. Anyone else? You're good? Ready to vote? Online voting is open. Mm. <clears throat> yes. And Larry, if you're watching this, go Army. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Item B. Item B, staff accountant. Uh, we did advertise it for a staff accountant for the central office in the HR department. Uh, we received 14 applications. We offered interviews to eight of those applicants. Uh, five were not eligible. One applied after the deadline date. Uh, of the eight offered, we had one cancellation, one no-show, and our committee interviewed six uh, very qualified applicants, uh, two black, four white. It was a unanimous decision to recommend uh, Michael Coxon to be the staff accountant for the HR department. Move to accept recommendation. Second. Any discussion? Any questions? Ready to vote? Voting is open. Yes. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Item C, teachers. Item C is our list for this uh, uh, committee for our teachers. Uh, for the teaching positions being recommended, reminded that all procedures were followed as outlined in our court order. Uh, 
these are in alphabetical order uh, for just ease of uh, providing the information. Uh, we have 47 white teachers to be recommended, 31 black teachers to be recommended, and one uh, Hispanic who identifies as Hispanic or Latino. Can we do them individually? <laughs> I, I, <insist>. <laughs> <laughs> I make a motion to accept I'll the recommendations. I second it. <laughs> motion and second. Uh, any discussions, any questions? Ready to vote. Voting is open. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Is there any other concerns for the personnel committee? If I can just give a point of information, uh, the teachers that were brought for this board meeting were all applicants that used our new applicant tracking system. Um, so my staff is learning that system uh, as we go. We were supposed to do a lot of training, of course, over March, April, and May. We had some other things going on. Uh, but they're becoming more and more familiar with the system. Uh, we have eliminated close to 80% of our normal new hire paperwork that would be from paper. We now send out, once I approve the hire, from the recommendation of the principal, they get a nice email with a welcome letter from the superintendent, some instructions from me, and all of our uh, forms that we could digitize and they can fill out. So all they have to do to come to see us is bring us a social security card, a driver's license, and a blank check or a deposit form. So those are the only three pieces of paper that we need now. Um, and it's, it has uh, reduced our, our paperwork quite considerably. The other thing that is interesting to me is we have, oh, we opened up the application process to our pools. We call them the teacher pools. Um, instead of doing individuals at each school, we just have elementary pool, a middle school pool, and a high school pool. We have received since April 6, over 250 applications electronically. And if we go back and look last year at this time with the paper, we probably would have been around 100 to 150. So the, the footprint of our electronic uh, process is getting out through our Facebook, uh, through LinkedIn, and through another job site, and then also through our website. So our ability to reach a greater audience and applicant pool uh, is there. Right. So I just wanted to kind of give you that update. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Janet. Uh, Go ahead. Ms. Rose. I was just wondering about the other uh, principal, assistant principals that were open, uh, how much longer, I know Perrin is still out there, and are they gonna? Right, we have Perrin set up for tomorrow okay. for the interview, and I think we're working on uh, Hammond West Side. Uh, to be done either this week or next week. Okay. Huh? Yeah, just one quick note on the, <clears throat> I know tonight we're gonna approve our, poly, our personnel minutes at the meeting here in the next 30 minutes. That puts us in a, <clears throat> in a bind and I've, I've expressed this before. We need a cushion. We need a two week window okay. from the committee meeting to the board meeting for the public, the people that, that pay our paychecks for them to give them an opportunity to react, to contact us, to express their concerns so that we can bring them back to the board meeting. Otherwise, it looks like we are trying to rush something through. And uh, moving forward, as of next time we do this, that's gonna be a big bone of contention with me that you know, vote against it because it's just not right for the public. And I'll have to say, Mr. Taylor, that I asked Cindy to add this on tonight's agenda because we did have a principle that we need to get to right. work and which he can start tomorrow if the board approves it tonight and um, we felt like you know with with the few weeks that we have left it was very right. important that he get on the job otherwise we, we've certainly respected. and I, I do understand the urgency to that with especially with with principals and administrators but there's still yeah. public that we have to answer to Okay, thank you, Mr. Vetter. Thank you. And thank you all for attending personnel.